Hey guys, welcome back to Teal House Farm. Let me tell you about these geese we got. They are huge and they, I don't even think they're a month old yet. My goodness, how fast they grow. But of course today isn't the beginning of the story, right? Because we gotta back way up to when we got these bad boys. Let's start at the very beginning. All right, we've picked up our baby geese from the post office. Now we're gonna run to the farm store to get some supplies for the baby geese uh, and make sure that they're good to go. Okay, I just got back from therapy with Annie and we're gonna get things set up for the goose, geese, yeah. Um, so I wasn't expecting them to come until tomorrow morning, which is why this is not set up. We have everything we need, um, but I wasn't expecting them until tomorrow morning. I was planning on working on it tonight. The plan is to put them outside in a week. We have a movable coop they're gonna go in. Yeah, look at that. You know how long I tried to do that yesterday for? Well, you, you could have pulled everything in. I know. Wait, but... That would have been the smart thing, but I was lazy and okay. didn't want to. So the plan is to put them outside next week in a movable coop. Yes. But we're keeping them inside for a week. Just yeah, to... and we'll keep them, even though they're outside at first, we'll probably keep them close to the house. Just because when they're babies, they need a lot of a lot more hands-on management, and then we can move them out where the baby goats are here in a few weeks. Okay, so we have an extra made, extra large Rubbermaid tub, which this is what we've used for chicken brooders too to get them started. And Sam is gonna find our little waterers and feed trays. So, is there anything different about geese and chickens when you're starting off? No, yeah, not really. I don't think. I mean, I've, I have I guess the only difference is like chicks. I have started chicks. Um, like I'll, I might use one of these fountains the first day or two, but I'll transition them over to the nipple waters really fast just because they're way less messy. But geese are like ducks and they need to be able to dip their beaks in the water uh, at least a little bit. So geese are gonna, we can put a, uh, nipple water in there for them so they learn how to use it but they do need like a pool of water okay too, so. you said they have to dip it because that's how they blow their nose uh kind of just that's how they kind of keep it all clean and stuff and then uh, i took the top off of this tray because when they're real young and little mm -hmm. uh it makes it a little harder for them to find it because they don't know where the food is and so we'll sprinkle some food in the tray here for them and taking the top off of it makes it really easy for them to find it. And then in a couple days, when they know where the food is, we'll put the little lid back on top so they don't make as much of a mess. Awesome. All right, let's get everything inside and we'll meet our little geese. Magic water? Yeah, I don't know the exact. If you go to Justin Rhodes and type in magic water and search for it, he has the exact recipe. But it's, he puts garlic cloves in his too, but I don't, I guess we could do that. I mean, I got minced stuff, but we're out of fresh uh, stuff. But it's honey, it's some honey and some apple cider vinegar and some garlic. And he does that for the first few days in warm water. Uh, it just gives your newborn little ones they're only like a day old and they haven't had anything to eat or drink yet because they actually swallow the sack the yolk mm -hmm. the yolk yolk thing and that's what sustains them for the first few days so this is the actual first food and water that they're gonna get uh, so 
So just gives him a little boost. We've had good success with him. You can't, you can't okay. drop them though, okay? And you have to be really brave. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna pick them up, and you're gonna hold them, and you're gonna dip his head in the water, okay? So come, why don't you stand over here so you're closer to the water. Come stand over here, Annie. They're, they're little babies, they're not gonna do anything. Here, look out. Annie's gonna grab one. You ready? You wanna do it, Annie? There they are. I got their babies. They are. They're babies. They're only a day old. You wanna hold them? <laughs> you wanna hold them? Is it gonna hurt me? No, he's not gonna hurt me. What do they actually do? One bite. One bite. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, right. and we dip his head in the water so he knows that's where the water is. Good job. JJ, do you want to try? Do you want to try one? Daddy, I think that are they going to pinch you? No. Daddy, I'll help you. I know, I love you them. You want to do one? See? Do you want to do one? And then we just dip their head in the water. How do they do Good that? job. So he knows that. Or four, sorry. There's one, two, yeah, They'll figure it out. Look. Oh, we can dip their beaks in the oh, too, it feels like they're not okay. figuring it out. Oh, this little guy just figured it out over here. One's pecking that one. He's trying to pick one. Okay, so that all brings us to today with the geese outside in this coop structure this has been a sheep shelter it has been a greenhouse it has been a movable chicken coop and now it is a geese hut and this is not a good permanent place for them right they don't have any access to fresh grass or really a lot of sunlight but it's kept them safe while they've been getting bigger now here's the part where i need your advice because we have never done geese before we've done lots of ducks and chickens we've never done geese everything that we've read um, about geese is that you keep them under a heat lamp for like six weeks but it's summer and these guys are huge and I really want to move them out onto fresh grass where they're going to be a lot happier out there with um, sheep with well right now what's our sheep but we'll soon be um, ducks and chickens and we're going to have like a barnyard mix of animals the reason they're not out there now is that the heat lamp I would need like a 200 foot extension cord to have a heat lamp out there for them um, and to have them in a coop and all that kind of stuff. So it makes sense just to keep them here in this coop, which is just outside the kitchen door. So do I really need to wait that other two weeks or can I just move them now since it's summer and it's not getting below 60 at night? I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you had experience with geese before? Do they really need that six weeks of heat lamp, especially in the summer? Let me know what your thoughts are. We're gonna decide what we wanna do. Um, I really do want to get them moved because I really want to move these sheep and these goats. They need to be moved out to the big pasture so they can do their lawn mowing job. But I can't move them until I'm ready to move other animals in there like the geese because then I have to mow that and I don't want to mow that because I have enough things to do. So everything is kind of hinging on getting these geese moved there with our ducks and then um, getting these guys moving over there. It's just like a chain reaction that's going to happen but it starts with the geese. So can I move my geese or do I need to be patient and wait that, you know, two to three weeks more? What do you think? Thanks so much for watching, guys. Tell me what you think and we'll tell you what we're going to figure out what we're going to do. See you all soon. Thanks for watching.